I'm Jimmy. My speech is going to be about stars. The sun is a star. The sun burns hydrogen into helium. The, the sun burns over 600 tonnes of hydrogen per second, even at night. It's a lot of hydrogen, but the sun is a small star. In other solar systems, sometimes there are two stars. With these so strange solar systems that have two stars, some very weird things can happen. Sometimes one star pulls hydrogen off the other star. This can make it go brighter. These are called flare stars because they flare up in brightness. This can be more dramatic if one of the stars is a small star called a white dwarf. If the white dwarf takes matter off, like hydrogen, it can explode. These explosions are called nova. Very big nova called supernova. In stars that are much bigger than the sun, when they get when they run out of hydrogen, they start burning helium and they get bigger. They they can burn el um, elements through the periodic table to iron. And the, but the stars cannot burn iron. As iron builds up in the middle of the star, called the core, um, it, it, it starts um, getting real, real pulled in by its gravity, and then it can get pulled in, in and make a huge, giant explosion. This is also called a supernova. What it does is sends out a huge cloud of dust and gas. This is called a nebula. In, in the <coughs> middle of a nebula, sometimes there are very weird things. The core of the star has been squashed down by its own gravity. When it gets squashed down, it gets in, into something really small. It's only about the size of a city. These are called neutron stars. They are small and very, very heavy. If I were to get a spoon and grab a spoonful of the material of a neutron star, it would weigh more than every air, air, aircraft carrier in the world put together. It's pretty heavy for just a little spoonful. But sometimes, if they're real big stars, the gravity is stronger. This makes, when it explodes, the explosion even bigger. And that means what is in the middle is a strange object called a black hole. One way to imagine a black hole is like a river. Okay, the river is flowing along about quite slowly, and I can swim faster, so I can easily escape. This is like flying around in normal space. But then, if I get closer to a black hole, it's like the river is flowing faster. The river is flowing faster than I can swim. This is like when you get into a place in a black hole called the acceleration disk. This is where stuff bunches up. Then, if, if I get closer down the stream towards a waterfall, I get even closer. And then, is the, and then at the end of the waterfall is a point called the event horizon. This marks a place of no return. Once you fall over the event horizon, it's like falling over a waterfall. I can't swim back up. Um, after the event horizon is a thing called the singularity. Now, science knows nothing about the singularity. We don't know anything about the singularity or inside the black hole. It is all very mysterious. We don't know. It is very, very strange um, past the singularity. That was my speech about stars. Are there any questions?